to my channel. The new trailer for Pixar's Lightyear recently dropped, revealing some new characters. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about them. First, we have our title character Buzz Lightyear, who will be voiced by Chris Evans. The director Angus McLean said that Chris was the first and only choice for the role. He stated the following in an interview with D23. When we pitched it to him, we saw how easy he was to work with and how excited he was for the project. Once he agreed to do it, we started recording and it was a really natural fit. It couldn't have gone better. It's such a breeze every time we work together. Chris is such a great partner for the film creatively and spiritually. He's just so excited and just really positive about it. He's exactly who you think he is. He's awesome. Chris Evans was equally as thrilled to be involved, saying the phrase a dream come true gets thrown around a lot, but I've never meant it more in my life. Anyone who knows me knows that my love for animated films runs deep. I can't believe that I get to be part of the Pixar family and work with these truly brilliant artists who tell stories unlike anyone else. Watching them work is nothing short of magic. I pinch myself every day. In respect to what the character of Buzz will be like in the film, McLean made the following statement in an interview that I thought was really interesting. Basically, he said that the core of the Buzz Lightyear character is a disagreement over the nature of reality. In the first Toy Story, Buzz is convinced that he is a space ranger when Woody thinks he's a toy. In the second one, the second Buzz Lightyear has the same issue. In the third one, it's the Spanish Buzz. There's always a misalignment about what the character thinks is going on versus what's actually going on. That being out of step with the surroundings was something that was fundamental to the character and to the film. And by sticking to that really core thing, you can do surface things all you want, but it has to be from that. So basically, Buzz will be out of step with the world surrounding him, and I think that this is because of the concept of hyperspeed. In this shot, you can see that one minute in space is the equivalent to one year. I believe that Buzz went on a test mission years ago and is now returning to Star Command. Obviously things would have changed and he would struggle to adapt. Moving on to the rest of the cast, it seems that the female lead is this young black woman who looks late 20s to early 30s. A particularly unique feature of her character design is a scar on her eyebrow, indicating that she has previously been in a fight or accident. Subtitles revealed that her first name is Alicia and her uniform indicates that her last name is Hawthorne. Disney trademarked the name Izzy Hawthorne earlier in the year so it is possible that Izzy is her nickname or the name of a family member, but I think it is more likely that Pixar simply changed her name. When we first see Alicia, she is at Mission Control watching Buzz in a spaceship. She is later seen attending this robot lecture with him and then she is shown saving him from getting dragged away by a plant. In the final shot of the trailer, Alicia is wearing Buzz's iconic spacesuit and starts to say his catchphrase to infinity and beyond. This cements their work partnership and maybe something more. We don't know who is voicing her yet but if you can work it out let me know. Another character featured in the trailer is this black man who appears to be in his 40s. His last name is Burnside as seen on his uniform but his first name is currently unknown. He seems to be in a position of authority as his uniform has more decorations than the other astronauts and he has power over the mission control buttons in this scene. Additionally he looks kind of angry here. This could mean he is a villain or just having a bad day. In this mission control shot, there is also a white female character with blue glasses and red hair. Her name tag says that her last name is Selwood, but again, her first name is unknown. She works in the control room and is fairly high up as she has access to the important buttons, but not as high as Burnside who can override her. On top of these human characters, the trailer also features some AI. Most significantly, the movie will feature a robotic cat named Socks. He is a ginger cat with green eyes and a blue collar. He initially scares Buzz when they first meet and he tosses him in the air via a karate chop. A cute callback to Buzz Lightyear's karate mode from Toy Story. On this wide shot, you can see that Socks has a mouse robot to play with. Even though they got off to a rocky start, they must eventually form a bond as Socks is seen here coming up behind Buzz during an emotional moment and Buzz holds him here in a protective way. Later on in the trailer, we hear Socks speak saying Bee Boop. We see here that his head can turn 360 degrees around and that his tail plugs into the spaceship. In an interview, McLean said, I have been advised that we are not yet ready to share all of the details of the robot cat, but I can tell you that the robot cat does feature prominently in the film and will be an audience favourite. Not in a cynical way, but by design. 
It's funny. It's a robot cat, but it's still under wraps right now. I already love this cat. I think it is such a good idea and I will be buying all the merch. Another piece of AI is this robot, whose name is Eric, who is explaining to Buzz the concept of hyperspeed. This robot is a yellowy orangey colour and is very intelligent as he has the ability to give a lecture. Another robot featured in the trailer is hiding behind some sort of rock on a planet with Buzz. He appears to be Buzz's sidekick and has definite R2-D2 vibes. He is also the same colour as Woody's hat, which is a fun little parallel. The final piece of AI is the ship computer, which is called Ivan. I think that this is older technology that Buzz used in his first mission. There is also some evidence that Zerg will appear in the movie. In this shot, you can see several Zerg bots on either side of some sort of spaceship. There is a purple light coming from the ship, which is the same colour as Zerg. We then see two doors open up to reveal someone, but the shot cuts away before we can see who it is. But it is obviously going to be Zerg. McLean said in an interview that he wasn't able to say if Zerg is in the movie, but he did say, if the core elements of what Buzz is were to be paid off correctly, you would want to make sure that he has a laser, you'd probably want to make sure he had rocket legs, and you'd probably want to make sure that at some point he had a recognisable antagonist. But of course, I'm not at liberty to say anything about anything at this time. So in other words, Zerg is totally in this movie. Anyway, that is it for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day!